Now, John, I have another troubleshooting question for you. My customer has an access motor moving in the wrong direction. Why is that? A common misconception is that the motor is wired improperly. This isn't true. In a digital AC servo system, the CNC creates the waveform, the encoder on the motor monitors the direction that the motor is turning in. The only way that you can reverse phase a motor is to change the parameter setting. This parameter will tell the CNC whether a positive move is in the clockwise or counterclockwise direction from the motor perspective. Another possibility to be able to change the motor direction is a mistake hep that is called mirror image. Mirror image will reverse the programmed move direction. Now I'm curious, I've been told about high current alarms and over current alarms. What's the difference? The difference primarily is in the current monitoring. If you were to receive a 414 alarm and went to the 200 diagnostics to determine what the cause of the alarm is, sometimes you'll indicate a high current or an overcurrent. A high current is more accurately described as an abnormal current. The servo drive monitors the quality of the current passing through it. If it sees noise inside of the system, it will generate a high current alarm and shut the machine down. An overcurrent alarm indicates that too much current has flowed through the DC link and usually caused by a short in the system. High current alarms can be caused by a defective servo drive or more commonly coolant contamination inside of the motor windings or cable. Inspect your cables carefully. Overcurrent alarms are typically caused by an unplanned contact, defective transistor module, or dull tooling trying to make a cut. All right, John, now I have a customer that changed out his motor, but he keeps getting a soft over travel alarm when he tries to reference. Why this, is that? This is a very common problem whenever changing out a motor. When the CNC powers down, it remembers its last known position. When you restart the machine, an incremental encoder will ask that the machine be repositioned. When you try to do a re-reference of the machine tool, it doesn't agree with where the last known position was. The machine will automatically go into a default indicating a soft over travel alarm. These alarms can occur at any point in the travel of the machine. To get around this alarm, it's a very simple procedure. Power the machine down, hold down the key with the letter P on it, and the cancel button. Power the machine up while you continue to hold these keys down. At this point, the machine will ignore all soft over travels until the first zero reference position has been done on that axis. This will clear the soft over travel alarms. That's a useful tip. Now John, I have a different customer that he unplugged his motor, now he's getting a 300 APC alarm. What does that mean? A 300 APC alarm indicates that the customer is using an absolute pulse coder. The difference between an absolute pulse coder and an incremental pulse coder deals in the memory retention of the position. On a CNC control with an incremental pulse coder, you must reference the machine every time you turn the machine back on. Whereas an absolute pulse coder has a battery backed memory. This battery backed memory retains the position of the machine tool when it powers down. When the CNC control wakes up, it asks the encoder, where are you? The encoder then responds back with its current position. If it's within tolerance of where it was when it shut down, the CNC is happy and will continue to run the program. If, however, you lose the memory retention due to an encoder cable being unplugged, then you will end up with the 300 level alarms. These alarms are simply saying that the machine must be re-referenced. The referencing procedure will be determined by the machine tool builder. Consult your machine tool builder manual for the proper operation.